For decades, the laws of physics have stood as the ultimate gatekeepers of semiconductor technology, dictating the limits of how small and powerful our chips can become. Every nanometer shaved off, every transistor packed onto a microchip has been a hard-fought victory against the unyielding constraints of nature. We thought we'd charted the final frontier. Three nanometer chips driving today's AI and smartphones, two nanometer chips slated for 2026, each step a brutal test of human ingenuity against quantum mechanics and material science. But what if one nation just obliterated those boundaries? What if they didn't just inch forward but vaulted into a realm we thought was decades away? Aurora is sweeping through the global tech world. China claims they've built a one nanometer chip with a staggering 99.77% yield, near-perfect production at a scale that sounds like science fiction. If this is real, it's not just a leap forward. It's a technological earthquake that could rewrite Moore's law, upend the global semiconductor industry, and reshape who holds the keys to the digital future. But is it true? Did China just defy the laws of physics, or is this the boldest tech deception ever? Strap in, because we're diving deep into this electrifying mystery to uncover the truth and what it means for every device, every industry, and every one of us. Picture a chip so small that stacking a million of them wouldn't match the width of a single human hair. At one nanometer, you're cramming billions of transistors into a space smaller than a strand of DNA about 2.5 nanometers wide for reference. This kind of density unlocks computing power that makes today's fastest processors look like relics from a bygone era. We're talking smartphones that run complex AI models on DISPID, delivering instant responses with ironclad security, no cloud required. Self-driving cars that process their surroundings faster than a human brain, navigating chaos with surgical precision, data centers that slash energy consumption, potentially cutting global carbon emissions by a massive margin, virtual reality headsets so immersive they blur the line with reality itself. And then there's the jaw dropper. China's claiming a 99.77% yield. In chip making, yield is everything. The percentage of chips that come off the production line flawless. Today's cutting edge 3 nanometer chips, crafted by titans like TSMC and Samsung, struggle to hit 80% yield. A 99.77% yield at 1 nanometer? That's like landing a spacecraft on a pinhead from across the galaxy. It means chips that are not only insanely powerful, but also cheap to produce potentially flooding the market with revolutionary technology at an unprecedented... How could China possibly pull this off? The semiconductor world is a fortress of complexity, guarded by a handful of elite players and machines so advanced they're practically miracles of engineering. To etch transistors at 3 nanometers and below, manufacturers rely on extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, colossal systems costing hundreds of millions, made almost exclusively by ASML in the Netherlands. These machines use laser-guided light to carve features smaller than a virus with atomic precision. But here's the rub. U.S.-led export controls have severely limited China's access to these cutting-edge tools, part of a deliberate strategy to slow their advanced chip-making ambitions. So how do you leap to one nanometer under those constraints? One possibility is that China's engineers have pushed older, deep ultraviolet DUV lithography to its absolute breaking point using multi-patterning technique where you layer patterns multiple times to create ultra-fine features. It's like painting a masterpiece with a sledgehammer. Technically feasible, but so intricate and costly it's barely viable for mass production. Yet rumors suggest China may have mastered it with a level of precision no one thought possible. Another theory points to a revolution in material science. At one nanometer, traditional silicon transistors hit a quantum wall. Electrons start tunneling through barriers they shouldn't, causing leaks, instability, and skyrocketing power demands. But what if China is using 2D materials like graphene or molybdenum disulfide? These materials are just one atom thick, potentially allowing transistors to shrink to near impossible sizes while remaining efficient and dodging quantum chaos. Picture transistors so thin they're practically two-dimensional, sidestepping the physical limits that plagued silicon at this scale. Or maybe it's a radical new transistor architecture, gate-all-gown designs, or something entirely unseen. 
There's even buzz about AI-driven design breakthroughs, where algorithms optimize chip layouts faster than any human team, slashing development time from years to months. Some speculate China's tapped into quantum-adjacent tech or novel fabrication methods that bypass traditional scaling limits altogether. The hitch? It's all cloaked in secrecy. Without physical chips for independent labs to dissect, verified by third-party analysis, these claims remain a tantalizing enigma. Why does this matter to you? A one nanometer chip with near perfect yield could redefine the technological landscape. Envision smartphones that process AI tasks locally, making them faster, more secure, and independent of data centers. Picture self-driving cars that make split-second decisions with unmatched accuracy, outsmarting human drivers in real time. Virtual reality systems so lifelike they feel like stepping into another Mention. Beyond consumer tech, this could power 6G networks that connect the world at unprecedented speeds, brain-computer interfaces that merge human thought with machines, or quantum computers that solve problems like climate modeling, drug discovery, or space exploration in mere seconds. But the stakes go far beyond gadgets. This is about global power. For decades, the U.S. and Taiwan have dominated advanced chip making, with TSMC and Intel setting the pace for everything from smartphones to supercomputers. A Chinese one nanometer chip could flip that script overnight. It could fuel hypersonic weapons, next generation surveillance systems, or AI that redefines warfare and intelligence. If China can mass produce these chips, they could achieve technological independence, rendering Western sanctions obsolete, and reshaping global supply chains. This isn't just about faster devices, it's about who controls the foundation of the next industrial revolution, from economic supremacy to national security. But here's where the story gets murky. Building a one nanometer chip isn't just a scientific challenge, it's a logistical, economic, and geopolitical marathon. First, scaling 2D materials like graphene for commercial production is a monumental hurdle. You need ultra-pure resources, state-of-the-art facilities, and supply chains that rival the complexity of building a space station. China's made strides, but even they face bottlenecks. Rare earths, precision chemicals, and other critical components are often sourced globally, and disruptions could derail their plans. Second, the equipment for one nanometer fabrication, like those EUV machines, is tightly controlled by a handful of Western companies. If China's relying on homegrown alternatives, they'd need breakthroughs in optics, lasers, and precision engineering that match or surpass decades of global R&D. Then there's the yield question. A 99.77% yield in a controlled lab is one thing, but maintaining it across billions of chips in real-world factories is a beast of its own. Defects creep in, costs spiral, and consistency becomes a high-stakes gamble. Geopolitics adds another layer of chaos. A Chinese lead at one nanometer could trigger a global firestorm, new sanctions, trade restrictions, or a frantic push by rivals like TSMC Intel or Samsung to unveil their own breakthroughs. There's also the cybersecurity angle. Chips this advanced could spark fears of embedded vulnerabilities or backdoors, especially if they dominate global markets. Could governments trust these chips in critical infrastructure like power grids or military systems? And what about the human and environmental cost? Building a domestic chip ecosystem demands trillions in funding, thousands of top-tier engineers, and facilities that strain resources like water and energy. If China's pouring everything into this, what trade-offs are they making, economically, socially, or environmentally? So where does the truth stand? The global tech community is a buzz, but skepticism reigns. Some experts believe this could be a lab breakthrough, a proof of concept that's years from mass production. Others suspect it's a strategic maneuver designed to unsettle competitors, sow doubt, and project an image of unstoppable progress amid trade tensions. There's even a chance China's one nanometer label doesn't align with the industry's standard definition. In chip making, node names like three nanometer or one nanometer are often marketing terms, not precise measurements of physical features. China might be touting a specific transistor dimension rather than a full process node which could muddy the waters. Without transparent data, physical chips, production stats, or third-party verification, the claim remains a provocative question mark. Don't sleep on China's ambitions, though. They've already proven they can compete at high levels, producing 5 nanometer chips for AI accelerators and consumer electronics through companies like SMIC, 
They're investing trillions to build a self-sufficient chip ecosystem from electronic design automation, EDA, software to fabrication tools to advanced packaging technologies. They're training armies of engineers, poaching global talent, and developing domestic supply chains to outlast Western restrictions. Even if the one nanometer claim is exaggerated, their progress is undeniable. They're not just chasing the bleeding edge. They're building a resilient industry that could reshape the global semiconductor landscape for decades. What's on the horizon? If China's one nanometer chip is legit, we're staring at a new technological era. Consumer devices could leap forward, foldable phones thinner than a sheet of paper, smartwatches that run for months on a single charge, or augmented reality systems that feel like stepping into a sci-fi movie. AI could become exponentially smarter, tackling challenges from curing diseases to mapping distant galaxies. But the real battle is for control. Whoever masters one nanometer tech could dictate the rules of the digital age, economically, militarily, and culturally. If China scales this breakthrough, they could lead the next decade of innovation. If rivals like TSMC, Intel, or Samsung catch up, or if there's a hidden flaw in China's tech, the race remains wide open. What's your take? Is China's one nanometer chip a physics-defying revolution or a bold play in the global tech war? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm dying to hear what you think. If this story has you buzzing, share it with every tech enthusiast you know and join our community for more deep dives into the innovations shaping our world. What's next on your radar? AI breakthroughs, quantum computing, or the chip war's next twist? Stay curious, keep questioning, and let's unravel the future together.